for me this works just This is another RNS problem. So yes. again, we have to design RNS. Let me just get it because I'm seeing it visually. Just as many RNSs as there are. There's, oh, look, there's, there's only one. Okay, well, I didn't really look at the molecules. <laughs> it's <laughs> It just looks like they're one they only give Well, I would start by putting an asterisk on the stereo center, and then I would put dots on the four atoms that we're comparing. So what are the four atoms we're comparing? This carbon, this carbon, this carbon, and this hydrogen. So right off the bat, we know this is the number four priority. We don't need to worry about the number four, but there's a tie between the three carbons. And it's on our dash, <laughs> What are the three things this is attached to? Carbon, carbon H And the three things this is attached to? Carbon, H and H and the three things that this is attached to. Carbon, carbon, carbon. That's the trickiest so far, but it looks like you guys have learned that a double bond is treated as two separate bonds. So we treat this as two separate bonds to carbon, and then there's a third carbon over here. So far, so good? A double bond over here means two separate bonds to carbon. Again, putting in the dots, I think, really helps to keep you focused on which carbons you're comparing and actually writing down these lists. Do you ignore the H that it's not connected to the other one? This H is not connected, that's right. So this is attached to these three carbons. So far, so good? Yes. And I think that should make it clear that this is the number two priority. Number one. I think that should make it clear that this is the number one priority. <laughs> here's our number one priority. And here's our number four. But we still have a tie between these two. So I'm going to erase the work that I already did. Now we move the dots out. I'm going to move the dots out because now we're comparing these two carbons. What are the three atoms that this carbon's attached to? Carbon, carbon, and then H. And this one? Carbon, O, O, oxygen, 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 carbon. This counts as two bonds to oxygen, and here we have a carbon. And now I think this side is going to be better, so this would be number two, and this would be three. I think it was actually pretty clear to most of you that this side is going to be higher priority than this, so you skipped actually writing this down. That's okay, as long as you're confident that you're getting it right. But if you're going to use the notation, you just move the dots one step out and make new lists. And now this is a simple case because the hydrogen is already pointing away from us. So we simply say that on the page, this is R, and there's no need to cross that out because we didn't make any swaps. So this is the correct configuration right here. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if the H was like wedged, then, <laughs> yes. No, yeah, here you can just yeah, originate just, just S right? because it's on the wedge. That's when you can do the, then you can switch it. It's only when it's on the bond line. Let's do an example. So you're asking what would happen if the number four had been on a wedge? Uh -huh. Well, first I would swap the number four with the number one. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the configuration on the page? R. Then I would cross that out and say S. Okay, so first you when that when the four is not the least, you switch and then so that it's pointing away from you. And then you switch the letter. And then whatever letter you wrote down first, you cross it out. Let's do one more example like that. Sure, 
let's say that these had been the priorities. These aren't the priorities, but let's just suppose that they were the priorities. What would we do first here? Swap the three and the four. Take your time. Four and the two. Swap the four and the two, because we want the four to be pointing away from us. And then? That would be one, two, three. It would be S, so that would be R. Then we cross that out because we had made a swap and the true configuration is R. With practice, I think you can do this pretty quickly. Yeah. If you guys want, we can do one more R and S problem. Or sure. Yeah. All right, you got another problem? 